All right, this item has been a topic of discussion on the Cup of Linux forum, and I figured it would be a good idea to do a video on this. Now, uh, about a year ago, I gave this browser a try, and I wasn't really too thrilled with it, but I want to give this another look and uh, see if this actually lives up to uh, its expectations. Uh, we are looking at the Vivaldi browser right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, here we go. Uh, we're on the forum, and this is uh, one of the topics of discussion that we have here, but there are a few threads, so if you go on my forum and just search for Vivaldi, you'll find a number of threads up on this. According to DuckDuckGo, Vivaldi is a freeware web browser developed by Vivaldi Technologies, a company founded by Opera Software uh, co-founder and former CEO John Stevenson, Von Tech. I can't say that name, Tetschner, and uh, Tetsuki Tomita. If I botched your names up, I apologize for that. Browsers aimed at a staunch technologies, heavy internet users, and previous Opera web browser users disgruntled by Opera's transition from the Presto layout engine to the Blink layout engine, which removed many popular features in the process. Okay. All right, and I took the time to watch the video there stating that Vivaldi browser is the browser f not for everybody, just you. And this is the first browser of its kind which adapts to you, not you adapting to the browser. You know, that's quite a heavy claim there. But does it live up to that? Let's open up Terminal here. And I'm going to install this from the AUR. Okay, and it looks like uh, I have an option to build a Vivaldi or a beta browser. And it looks like if I want uh, additional codecs for viewing uh, proprietary video formats, I'm going to have to install that separately. I think I'm just going to go with installing just the browser itself. Okay, now that that is done, let's go ahead and close some of this stuff. We'll go into our internet menu here, and there is Vivaldi. All right, and now it has opened up, and this is our first look. Ooh, this does not match my theme, does it? Well, let's see if there's something we can do about that. Ah, it looks like it has extension support. Very good. Plugins. Let's look at the settings here. Ah, that's better. A nice dark interface. Be nice if uh, the settings manager were also dark too, but mm, yeah. For window appearance, we can use native window. Ooh, I think I'm going to like that. So let's go. At, we've set that. Let's close this. We'll close again because I want it to use my native window. Okay, and yeah. Well, I'm doing borderless on my system, so that's how I like things set up here. All right, and uh, let's see what we have here. Import bookmarks and settings from Chrome. Okay, let's cancel that because I actually have a, a different configuration, so I'm going to have to fix that. One moment, please, while I pause the video and make a fix. Okay, now that I have uh, fixed that, let's try and do that import again. Import bookmarks and settings, and I want it to import from... Ooh, it won't... Um, let me import from there. That's strange, because I'm using uh, Google Chrome Beta. 
Okay, I'm gonna hack, do a hack here. Cancel this. We're gonna close this. And temporarily, since it's not detecting the beta, I'm going to make a copy of my uh, configuration. So let's uh, go into uh, dot config. Right click create new folder. Google Tac Chrome. Actually, just copy all this data here. Because it's not finding the folder that it wants. So, okay, then we're going to have to cheat. Now, will Vivaldi import my settings? Ah, found Chrome now. Very good. We've got um, bookmarks, passwords, and uh, don't really care about the history. Start that import. Import completed. Okay. All right, now, will it give me my uh, bookmark panel, I wonder? Pages seem to load pretty fast. So it looks like I'm going to have to do some serious tweaking. All right, and then um, what's all this stuff here? Technology. Okay. So this is a bunch of bloat I'm going to have to get rid of, like the technology folder. What do I want to visit these sites for? Um, games, IGN. Yeah, I, I really don't want this stuff. Can I delete them? Yes. It would be nicer, I think, if it shipped without all these bookmarks. I really don't want them. doesn't look like it gives me an it doesn't look like it'll give me an option to rename these so I'm gonna have to actually clean all this stuff out and uh, empty the trash what's on speed dial here okay Vivaldi Ted eBay so yeah this is stuff I'm gonna have to clear out can I delete speed dial I can cool goodbye <laughs> get rid of it <laughs> Alrighty then. Let's empty the trash. Okay. My only thing is, can I hide this side panel? I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Okay, this is down. You know, this is kind of convenient with these panels here on the side here. Um, and you can also save notes in here. Okay. Then we have other web panels. Hmm. Then we have a little settings gear here. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Appearance. Window controls position. So it can hide the status bar. Okay, yeah, because I don't usually do status bar. We can show it. Ah, okay, that's your zoom controls. Very nice. Toggle images on or off. Ah, so that's how you hide the panel on the left. Okay, that's cool. All right, awesome. Start page. Interface color, we want that dark, starry night. Okay. Tabs. This has some nice options built in, it looks like. Quick commands. 
keyboard. Okay, so after doing a little bit of fiddling around, I've been able to get this to somewhat resemble my uh, Chrome web user experience. And I've been able to, you know, basically get my uh, bookmarks and stuff like that to appear how I want them. And start, it's starting to look pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get some new extensions for this thing. All right, we're going to go into Tools here, Extensions. Okay, and I went and I tried to install New Tab Redirect. I went into Options here. And I told it I want it to go to DuckDuckGo. Let's enable both options. Okay, but when I go to um, open a new tab here, it's not working. Um, it's still giving me the speed dial pages. So if any of you know a way to fix that, let me know. If there's a way to, because I really don't want to have a speed dial. I've got all my quick launches right here, um, so that didn't work. Um, let's try another extension. Uh, I like to know uh, what part of the world I'm visiting when I'm viewing web pages. And we'll choose yet another flags. All right, the extension has been added. We go into extensions. All right, we're showing that it's enabled. So let's uh, pick a website to go to. Ah, and there's the flag displaying. Very good. That one works. And uh, maybe I want to have a little bit more privacy. Ah, and it looks like uh, we've got this plugin enabled as well. Okay, very good. So, I th guess the only caveat right now is the start page. When I open a new tab, I'd much rather have it open up DuckDuckGo rather than having this. I never did like a speed dial, and I couldn't find an option here to fix that. So, for the most part, it looks here like uh, Vivaldi is somewhat living up to uh, expectations in that it does have uh, that air of familiarity, but there, there, but this is one thing that's a deal breaker for me. I don't want a speed dial page. I want to have a uh, blank page. Ah, we can s have it start up with a home page here. Let's close this and see what happens there. <laughs> it still wants to give me a start page that I don't want. Uh, so let me pause and do some Googling to see if there's a way that I can block the start page. All right, I'm still not finding a solution. If I go into um, Internet again, Vivaldi. Last time I closed Vivaldi, only um, DuckDuckGo is here, and this annoying start page keeps coming up, and I don't want it, and there's no way to disable it. This is a deal breaker for me. Um, I don't want this, and there's no way, foreseeable way that I can remove this. So that means if I want to use this as my regular daily browser, I have to live with this thing. So it doesn't live up to the expectation that this works around me. I don't want this, and there's no way to remove it. And I've already tried two different extensions from the... Uh, Google Chrome store, and neither of them work to get rid of this, to allow me to change this into something else, uh, to e either be able to redirect it or whatnot. And uh, if I have to live with this, I'll move with something else. Uh, one thing I did notice also when I'm 
uh, going into the ex uh, into the uh, extension. So let me go to that part here. This started to really bog down very slowly. Let's delete this one. We'll go to get more extensions. It's probably going to make a liar out of me now that I'm uh, now that I'm uh, screen capturing again. Come on. Okay, let's try a new tab page. We'll try this one now. Go into the extensions tab. Come on, extensions tab. What are we waiting for? Go into options on this thing. Okay, and I don't want any of this stuff. I just want to see if this will get rid of it. Maybe I can find another customization. Okay, that's fine. Close this. Gosh, this thing is acting slow and foggy. Okay, plus tab. Nope. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm not using this. So new tab page it doesn't obey some of the plugins do work i haven't had a chance to try all of them um this is better than the first time i looked at this but um as i as i've been going in between uh you know when i was trying to you know uh figure things out i was pausing the video while i was trying to figure things out and stuff like that this started to bog down quite a bit on me, and uh, that was irritating. Um, I don't experience these issues with uh, Chromium or Chrome. So, uh, it looks like Vivaldi is a step in the right direction. I, I like part of what I see here, but there are other parts like the speed dial. This can't be removed. If I can't remove it, I'm not going to use it. And then the speed issues, um, yeah, uh, when, you know, I only have a, a couple tabs open and uh, it is starting to run slower than Firefox. And that was the reason why I left Firefox was because of speed issues. Yeah, um, it was time to drop it. So maybe I'll look at this again next year. But right now, for me at least, it's not ready. Well, that's all I have on this. And so... Um, uh, if you have any comments, uh, please post those comments at cupoflinux.com, and I'll read them. Uh, I don't read all of my comments on YouTube, kids. Uh, I've got over 600 videos, and it's impossible for me to keep up with comments that are coming in. So any comments that deserve my attention get posted on my forum. All right, I don't know what I'm going to be doing next on uh, my show, but I'm sure I'll have something pretty exciting. So until then, peace out. Mm -hmm.